Dance, the art form of movement and performance, has entertained, communicated ideas, and expressed feelings throughout all human history. Martha Graham took this art and explored its boundaries. She defied previous concepts and expressions of dancing. Before Martha Graham, most dance choreography looked both effortless and yet very controlled. Martha Graham's creations seemed out of control, and yet there was obvious physical exertion and effort in her dances. Rather than please the public, she danced to express what she felt. Her explorations and commitment to dance as a serious form of expression, her encounters with nature and creativity, and her exchange of ideas with students, artists, and people from around the globe had a significant impact on the entire world of art. Martha Graham was born in 1894 in a small city outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Her father was an alienist, the term then used to describe a physician who specialized in human psychology. According to Martha Graham, one of her father's expressions, movement never lies, influenced many of her own thoughts about dance. When Graham was 17, her parents took her to see Ruth St. Denis, a famous modern dancer of the time. From that moment on, she recalled, my fate was sealed. I couldn't wait to learn to dance as the goddess did. After the performance, Graham implored her parents to allow her to study dance. Graham's parents, being strong Presbyterians, would not permit it. In the early 1900s, modern dance was a newly formed style. It was often looked down upon as being improper and, according to critics, did not measure up to classical ballet. Ballet, with its precise and highly formalized set steps and gestures performed to classical music, was the most popular dance style of the time. Originating in Renaissance Italy, classical ballet was established in its present form during the 19th century. Characterized by light, graceful, fluid movements and the use of point shoes, ballet was seen as an elegant art. In contrast, modern dance was a free, expressive style of dancing in a reaction to classical ballet. Modern dance could even include elements not usually associated with dance, such as speech and film. Graham, who was more intrigued by modern than ballet, became interested in Cumnock School of Expression, an experimental junior college where people with theatrical ambitions could study both academic subjects and practical theater arts. With some convincing, her parents allowed Graham to enroll at Cumnock at the age of 19. Graham took several art classes, including a dance expression class at Cumnock. Sadly, Graham's father died unexpectedly a year after she started at Cumnock. While this was a tragic event, the death of Graham's father gave her the freedom to pursue her lifelong dream. Martha spent three years at Cumnock. Immediately following her graduation, she joined Denise Sean School of Dancing and Related Arts, which had been founded by Ruth St. Denis, Graham's idol, and St. Denis' husband, Ted Sean. With her father gone, Graham felt free to chart her own future course. Martha's mother was supportive and intrigued by her daughter's goals and dreams. She became very excited about my wanting to be a dancer, Graham wrote. Despite her passion, Martha seemed a very unlikely candidate to become a serious dancer. Many dance performers start their study no later than the age of 9 or 10. Graham was now 22. Even with the odds against her, Graham auditioned for Ruth St. Denis, who was known as Miss Ruth. Now dance for me, Miss Ruth instructed Martha at their first meeting. Terrified and relying on her dance expression classes, Graham began to move about the room. Miss Ruth was not impressed. Still, she decided to let Graham stay. I don't know what to do with her, Miss Ruth told her husband, Ted Sean. You take her. She was quite a few years above the average age of all the other girls in the school, Sean recalled. She was homely, and she was overweight. I won't say exactly fat, but she was dumpy and unprepossessing. Despite the first impression, Graham spent more than eight years at Denny Sean, as a student, a performer, and eventually an instructor. Graham recalled she would often go to the studio alone to explore movement, trying to find strange, beautiful movements of my own. Working primarily with Ted Sean, Graham improved her technique and began dancing professionally, in Sojidol, a dance created specifically for Martha Graham, Graham danced the role of an Aztec maiden under attack. The wildly emotional performance garnered Graham's first critical acclaim. By 1923, Martha was ready to branch out. She found her chance in the vaudeville review Greenwich Village Follies, where Graham was able to design and choreograph her own dances, allowing Graham to explore with her own style, while she traveled around the world and encountered different cultures through her dancing while she longed for an opportunity to make even greater experiments with dance. In 1925, Graham took a position at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York, where she was free of the constraints of public performance. At Eastman, Graham had complete control over her classes and the entire dance program. She saw this as an opportunity to engage her best pupils in the experimental dance she was beginning to create. In 1926, Graham established the Martha Graham Dance Company. Graham's early programs were stylistically similar to those of her teachers, but she quickly found her artistic voice and began conducting elaborate experiments in dance. 
Martha Graham created many dances while running her company. I wanted to begin not with characters or ideas, but with movements. I wanted significant movement. I did not want it to be beautiful or fluid. I wanted to be fraught with inner meaning and excitement and surge. Martha Graham remained a strong advocate of the individual throughout her career, creating works such as Deaths and Entrances, 1943, Appalachian Spring, 1944, Dark Meadows, 1946, and Errand into the Maze, 1947 which are about exploring human and societal complexities. The innovative choreography and visual imagery of American Document, 1938, exemplified Graham's genius. The dramatic narrative, which included the company's first male dancer, explored the concept of what it means to be American. Graham loved to experiment with all different types of movement, especially those beginning in new dance technique, a way of movement that was uniquely hers. Graham's exploration of the stage and space, including the floor, is part of the emotional content of technique. Graham's work with human emotions and the personal exploration of deep-seated motivations embraced every artistic genre through her exploration of the movement of the body. Graham herself described her dances as stylized to represent the times in which she was creating. Life today is nervous, sharp, and zigzag. It often stops in midair. That is what I aim for in my dances. She looked upon dance as an exploration of movement and the body a celebration of life and nature, and a religious calling that required absolute devotion. It required discipline, not drill, not something imposed from without, but discipline imposed by you yourself, upon yourself. Martha never let others' opinions get in the way of her dancing and passion. What people in the world think of you is really none of your business, said Graham. It is what I always wanted to do, to show the laughter, the fun, the joy of dance. The Martha Graham School of Contemporary Dance has the distinction of being the longest continually operating school of modern dance in America. It is a charter member of the accrediting organization, the National Association of Schools of Dance. This company is the only school primarily focused upon teaching the Martha Graham technique and repertoire. Martha Graham exchanged groundbreaking styles and ideas with her students, artists, and people from around the globe. Each exchange broadened Graham's experimentation with movement, Graham's elemental movements, contraction and the release was the base of all of her dances. By focusing on the basic activities of the human form, Graham enlivened the body with raw, electric emotion. The sharp, angular, and direct movements of her technique were a dramatic departure from the predominant style of the time. Graham exchanged this new style with aspiring artists, initiating the beginning of all modern dance. This is also why Graham is known as the mother of modern dance. Martha Graham crossed many artistic boundaries during her works by having an artistic practice deeply ingrained in the rhythm of American life and the struggles of the individual. Even when her work was criticized, Graham brought a distinctly modern sense to every theme she explored. Martha Graham encountered a variety of people and styles through her teaching and performances. Every encounter made an impact in Graham's life that helped lead her to her dance revolution. Impasses and barriers met her along the way, but she overcame them with her ingenuity, determination, and creativity. Graham made her own rules dancing to the beat of her own drum, which led her to her discovery. Graham traveled to different countries and cultures, broadening her view of the world, and kept her in touch with the very nature and individuality of her passion. This helped Graham to develop her style of dancing more than anyone would ever believe. Martha Graham died in 1991 at the age of 96, after a career that lasted 75 years, creating 181 dance compositions and produced some of the greatest masterpieces of American modern dance. The Martha Graham Dance Company is still a vital force and can be seen in New York City and on tour. There are numerous books and documentaries about her. When she died, her power and insight had been felt throughout the world and to a large degree continues to be. The settings and the eras vary, but Graham's themes of human conflicts and emotion never aged. Through dance, Graham explored the hidden language of the soul of the body. She encountered the nature of the world and body through her dancing. I did not want to be a tree, a flower, or a wave, said Graham. In a dancer's body, we as the audience must see ourselves, not the immediate behavior of everyday actions, not the phenomenon of nature, not exotic creatures from another planet, but something of the miracle that is the human being. Graham exchanged her new forms of dance to the world, not ever worrying what others thought. It is not your business to determine how good it is, nor how valuable it is, nor how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours clearly and directly, to keep the channel open.